Dear students, now we are going to discuss architecture of 8251A in detail. Intel 8251A is an universal synchronous and asynchronous transmitter receiver controller. Simply use that. It is used as an interface device between the microprocessor and the peripheral devices because it allows serial and parallel communication between the microprocessor and the peripheral devices. So here the diagrammatic representation, microprocessor can allow only the parallel communication. Here the peripheral device allows only the serial communication. So here the user is used to convert the parallel bits into serial bits for the serial communication from microprocessor to peripheral. Similarly, the serial bits can be converted into the parallel bits for this microprocessor. That is parallel communication. So it supports both serial communication as well as parallel communication. Okay. This is the architecture of 8251A. It has important functional units, data bus buffer, read write control logic unit, modem control unit, transmit buffer, transmit control, receive buffer, receive control and internal bus. Data bus buffer is used to transfer that 8 bit data between the system bus and the internal bus of this 8251. Read write control logic. So this unit has 6 important control signals from the processor which can control the operations of this 8251. Okay. So next one is modem control. Here we are going to transfer the data from one device to another one. So here we need to have modem. Modem means modulator and demodulator. Okay. So this is what modem control. We have to control the transmission and reception. Okay. Next one is transmit buffer. So this unit is very important because it is going to convert the parallel bits from microprocessor into serial bits in order to transmit the data to peripheral device. Do you all understand? So the parallel to serial conversion can be done at this transmit buffer and then transmit the data through this TXTP. So this transmission can be controlled by this transmit control unit. It has two output signals, one input signal. This TXC bar is nothing but the transmission clock signal. It is an active low signal. Okay. So here in 8251, both the transmission and reception are having their own clock signals. Okay, separate clock signals. So this is the clock signal for this transmit control operation. So TXE is nothing but the transmit empty signal and TXRDY means transmit ready signal. Okay, so the next one is receive buffer which is going to receive the serial data from the peripheral device and convert the data into parallel then it can transmit the data to this microprocessor as parallel one. Do you all understand? So serial to parallel conversion can be done at this point. So here we can receive the data through this RXD pin and the next one is receive control unit which is going to control the operation of this receive buffer. It is having its own clock signal RXC and the receive ready signal here Synchronous detection. This synchronous detect signal is used to find out the synchronous character during reception. Internal bus is used to transfer the data, command word, control word and status information among the functional units. Okay. Here the functional units are data bus buffer, read write control logic, modem control unit, transmit buffer, receive buffer, transmit control, receive control. Let's discuss each block in detail here. Data bus buffer is a tri-state bidirectional 8-bit buffer used to interface 8251 that is usert with the system bus of the microprocessor. It is mainly used to transfer the data, control word, command word and status information to the system bus. Okay. So the next one is read-write control logic 8251A has six control input signals from the system bus. System bus means the processor. Okay. So here reset clock C by D bar, read bar, write bar and CS bar. These all are the control input signals to this unit. If reset signal is high, 
eighty to fifty one enters into an ideal state. So reset signal is used to reset the usage. Okay, clock signal is used to generate the timing signal. C S bar that is chip select. It allows the communication between the microprocessor and eighty to fifty one. It can select the chip. Okay, it is an active low signal. It should be zero. Okay. So next one is C by D bar, read bar, write bar. Here C by D bar means control register or data buffer. If this value is zero means then C value becomes zero. That is no control register, only the data. Correct? Zero means it represents data. Here these two are active low signals. Active low means whenever it is zero, it can be activated. So the first combination is zero zero one. Then it can select the CPU reads data from USART. So zero means it can activate the read operation. Here it is zero, so it can read the data from USART. Next one is zero one zero. Zero one zero means CPU writes data to USART. Here zero for this write. Okay. So next one zero one. One means control register. Control register represents status. So one zero one means CPU reads status from USART. One one zero means CPU writes command to use that. The last one is X one one. X represents don't care condition. It can be either zero or one. Whatever it may be, if both the read and write are one, then the user bus is flooding with the values. Okay. Next one is modem control unit. Modem means modulator, demodulator. 80 to 51 has two input and two output control signals to interface with modem any communication we need to have modem circuit okay so here two input signals are dsr cts dsr means data set ready it is the active low signal to test the modem conditions whether the data set is ready or not okay so next cts bar that is clear to send it is a active low signal It is mainly used to enable eighty to fifty one to transmit the serial data if transmit empty is equal to one. So next output control signals here DTA data terminal ready. It is used to tell the modem that the data terminal is ready to transmit. Okay. So next one is RTS request to send. It is used to tell modem to begin the transmission. So the next one is transmit buffer. So the transmit buffer accepts the parallel data from the CPU and converts it into the serial data format. Finally, transmit it on the transmit data pin. As I told you, the transmission is having its own clock cycle (TXC). Can transmit the data. During the falling edge of this clock cycle, okay. Transmit buffer has two registers: buffer register and output register. Buffer register is used to hold that eight bit data to be transmitted, and the output register is going to convert this eight bit parallel data into a serial data. In asynchronous mode, transmitter adds an additional bits like start and stop bits, but in synchronous mode. No extra bits are added in this transmitter buffer. Okay. Next one is transmit control unit. This functional unit is used to control the data transmission in transmit buffer. Okay. So three signals are used: transmit ready, transmit empty, transmit clock. Transmit ready signal indicates that the transmitter is ready to transmit the data character. Empty means it indicates the processor that the transmitter is empty now. And the processor can send the data. TXC means it is an active low signal which controls the data transmission. Okay. So next one is receive buffer. It is a buffer for the received data. It can receive the data via RXD. So in this buffer, we are going to receive the serial bits from the peripheral device and convert that into parallel bits. And these parallel bits are transmitted to the Processor that is CPU. So do you all understand? Receive control unit. It is used to control the operation of receive buffer. Here three signals are used: RX, RDY that is receive ready, RXE bar, 
sin det or bd so here the first one is receive ready signal it is the input signal ready to receive the data from peripheral device okay next one is receive clock it is an active loop input signal that controls the data transmission of the received signal from the peripheral and then into the processor okay the last one is synchronous detect or break detect it is bidirectional control signal the signal is used in synchronous mode for the detection of synchronous characters in case of asynchronous it can detect the break character okay